and your creativity has many positive effects first on uh, companies' innovativeness. We can follow the discovery of customers' the needs, the more effective and creative problem solving, and the better uh, identifications of opportunities. It also has uh, effects on um, the employees' innovativeness with the frequent and new proposals, also the better problem solving, and uh, the more uh, energetic and motivated uh, employees are obviously and the more creative ones. The CEO is the highest position in a company. He's the leader. He works in agreement with the board of directors, which appoints him and all the shareholders. He's responsible for all the company and has a set of well-defined missions. Just because you are a CEO, don't think you have learned it, because you have a lot of things to learn and continue to improve. For us, the CEO has three main responsibilities in which uh, he has several objectives to accomplish. Carrying the vision, managing the team, and be the best leader as he can, encouraging mistakes, being empathic, and encourage critic. Equally important as a CEO of a large company is to shape a corporate culture that exhibits transparency, respect, and accountability. Other important skills are adaptability and tolerating ambiguity. This means being able to deal with unforeseen changes and different situations. In small companies, the CEO is the man of the company and he has a lot of function, a lot of tasks. He has to be in charge of scheduling working time, of giving a vision, of giving objective, of employing new employees. So he has a lot of tasks. And so if he had co-creativity and creativity in his company and in his work, uh, it will be more productive and his team also. What is a good CEO? As a good CEO, you are open-minded to other point of views. You are a team player and you improve yourself constantly. But don't try to be the best in everything. A perfect CEO don't have to be perfect. So show the values of the company and challenge other people to get them motivated. practice how a CEO could enhance creativity in a company. It starts from a hiring process, when it's important to create an environment which fosters creativity. All employees should be encouraged and not afraid to give their ideas, where suggestions should be considered by a CEO. Moreover, it could be a good idea to have some activities together like brainstorm sessions. Encouraged communication. Why encourage communication so important? Sustainable and sincere communication within the company can promote several aspects of cooperation. Transparent communication between all levels can lead to employees invest themselves into organization priorities and increase employee engagement. Engaged employees are emotionally attached to the work and company. An engaged team shares their pride in work. So we have to be conscious that it's uh, very important to be uh, being complementary in the company uh, because uh, be aware that even if you are very competent, you cannot uh, do everything. Uh, learn to trust uh, your peers and if there is a procrastinator in the group, uh, give uh, her or him a short task with deadline. One of the good points, the quality of the group will determine the quality of your assignment. The success of the team depends on the atmosphere you have in place to achieve a positive result. Team spirit in a team can be developed uh, by communication with all team members and uh, clearly determine common goal uh, to be achieved by the team. Uh, each participant must feel a part of the team and understand his or her importance in the team. You should be avoided, especially the negative ones, since they are based on facts and they are not reliable. The fact of judging someone is n will contribute to negative energy or vibe and will not benefit or impact anyone in a good way. The best way to deal with this is by creating some constructive feedback or whatever type of feedback you prefer, so you can avoid this type of issue. When 
a situation is getting awkward with a person or a group, you need to talk about it. There is no point into getting into a conflict. For example, you can try the NVC method, which is the non-violent communication method, which consists of four steps, observation, feeling, need, and requests. It allows to express your emotion and explain to the person the cause and effect it has on you. For example, you can say, I feel annoyed that you worked on the assignments uh, for the last minutes. Will you be willing to work on it and get more organized next time? You won't be blamed for, the, for naming your feelings and the person after this kind of conversation will be able to understand and communicate better with you. There can be all kinds of personalities in a team. The aim is therefore to bring out the quality and the personality of each member um, to get out the best of them. Uh, there can be uh, really different qualities, depends on the function and the person. For example, there can be an analyst, a researcher, a leader or a talker. As many different uh, qualities as there are members. Uh, which complement each other to produce even more uh, convincing results. Whether you like it or not, you are part of a working group, so you might as well develop your sense of belonging to uh, help people feeling involved. Uh, being part of a team group uh, increases self-confidence and efficiency of the work. Other team members should be aware of not putting anyone apart on the ways that uh, everyone can give his opinion, use his knowledge and experiences to help the team reaching his goal. So, what is co-creative? Because yes, that's the name of this course, but are we able to explain it in words? And do we all have the same definition of this term? After having analyzed the answer we have collected, Two answers come back. First, sitting as a team, and the second one, creating new things, innovating. So in the end, uh, the people in the interview all have more or less the same definition of the term co-creative, a way of thinking as a team to create new things and why not change the world uh, through its innovations. The next part is about co-creativity in a team. So, based on three different studies, uh, a good team spirit can make a group to have common decisions and lead this group to have a greater support or endorsement of organizational initiatives. Moreover, cooperativity can be helped with proper ways to communicate and share ideas. One more time, studies have shown that having different shared ideas uh, help a group to find the right path, but also to learn from each other's expertise. When you work in community, there are several tips we can give you to make the work easier on an organizational level. Firstly, define your values, your roles, and your leadership approach. Then, each member has to ask herself what can he do for this community, and can the community do for him. Finally, you have to agree on the role of everyone and how you plan to manage your time. At the community level of co-creativity, we address issues of creativity as part of corporate culture and cultivation of creativity in the workplace. And the majority of our survey respondents experienced that creativity was a very or even extremely important part of the company culture and they also had a pleasant experience in terms of feeling comfortable to be creative at work. If you have the opportunity, what type of actions will you do to be co-creative at work? Majority of the answers were listening to co-workers. If you feel that you are not a creative person, would you be comfortable working in a position that requires you to be creative? And on the contrary, if you're a creative person, would you feel uncomfortable working in a position where you can't be? Majority of the answers were um, they were creative people, but they would feel more comfortable being able to work in a creative space.